Clint Eastwood wouldn't have been a very intimidating Dirty Harry if all he pulled out was a little 22 caliber pistol to make his point. He knew that to really make the bad guys knees shake, a 44 Magnum was the weapon of choice. So, when it comes to bicep development, why should you settle for second-rate pea shooters when you can pack some really big guns? Hello everyone, this is the muscle nerd Jeff Anderson with another fitness video lesson. Now, let's face it, all men want big biceps. They're the easiest muscle to show off without getting undressed. Women love to wrap their arms around them when walking down the street. And they're small. <laughs> Wait a minute, I wasn't necessarily talking about yours being small. I simply mean that compared with other muscles of the body, like your chest, back, and legs, your biceps are a relatively small muscle group. Now that's good news. That's good news because it means that it's much easier to target your biceps for growth than it is to take on larger, more complicated muscle groups. So, why aren't yours the size of softballs yet? Well, one quick look around any local gym and the answer becomes quite clear. Most guys have absolutely no clue how to effectively work their arms. But I have for you three easy steps that are guaranteed to make sure you don't end up frustrated during your daily Mr. Olympia flexing routine in front of your bathroom mirror each morning. So let's get started. The first step is to dial the right frequency. Now because your biceps are a smaller muscle group and because they're used in other compound exercises when working other muscle groups, they're much more prone to overtraining than any other muscle group in the body. I'm sure you understand by now that your muscles grow when you're at rest rather than while you're working out in the gym. So if you keep your biceps at work by targeting them more than once a week, you're setting yourself up for a major disappointment. Now this is where the more is better crowd will lose every time. Stick to only one targeted workout per week. And by targeted, I'm talking about a workout that focuses mainly on your biceps for six sets or more. Now do this and you'll give your biceps the much needed recovery time they need to pack on new muscle. Now the next step is to upgrade your ROM. And no, I'm not talking about your computer. I'm referring to your muscles range of motion. If you ever want to grow your bias to their full potential, you must concentrate on hitting all of the muscle fibers. Now, the only way to do this is to take the muscle from full pronation to full extension. I mean, look, you're not impressing anyone by stacking up the easy curl bar with a massive amount of weight and flopping your body all over the place like a hooked bass, your arms barely lowering the weight to full extension. You must start every single repetition with your arms fully extended. And yes, I know this makes the exercise harder, which is why a lot of guys just don't do it. So grab a tissue, wipe away the tears, and perform the exercise the correct way. Now, a little trick to help you accomplish this that I've learned over the years is to first briefly, like a split second, flex your triceps when you're at the bottom of your movement of the repetition. Now, since the only way to do this is to fully extend your arm, you'll know you've begun each rep in the optimum starting position to stimulate new muscle growth. Now, the last step is to recruit a main squeeze. Now, to get your biceps to become bigger, you first have to show them what it's like to be bigger. Now, here's how it's done. At the very top of your curl, when the bicep has peaked, squeeze the muscle for about one to two seconds. Now your curls will make your muscles contract effectively, setting up a roadblock in your bicep. But it's that final squeeze that you add that will literally force blood, water, and lactic acid into the contracted muscle, causing an intense pump. Now, don't let anyone tell you that the pump does not have any long-term benefit to building muscle. In response, the muscle cells themselves begin to thicken. The capillaries within the muscle grow in number and in size to hold more fluid, and satellite stem cells split off to form new muscle fibers already pre-programmed for growth. Well, there you have it. But now comes the hard part. And no, I'm not talking about picking the weight up and starting your curls. 
since adding these factors to your arm training will greatly increase the intensity of each set of your biceps exercises, you're going to need to first probably decrease the weight you use. Now, chances are you've been working too heavy in the first place, so you need to decrease the weight in order to focus on incorporating these other principles and stimulate new growth. But trust me, the growth you'll get from incorporating these three principles will more than compensate for your initially bruised ego. Now, until the next fitness video lesson, this is the muscle nerd Jeff Anderson saying, train hard and stay committed.